Uh, Ubisoft has announced that the next entry in the Assassin's Creed series, Infinity, which is actually a code name, uh, still at this point, even though they've publicly announced it, uh, will be a will be in an evolving platform that will feature multiple games set across various historical settings, uh, much like Juggernaut Contemporary, such as Fortnite and GTA Online. Infinity will be developed by a new cross-studio collaborative structure composed of the Montreal and Quebec teams with creative leads that have worked on titles such as Syndicate, Odyssey, Far Cry 2, and Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, Ubisoft representatives released a statement proclaiming that rather than continuing to pass the baton from game to game, we profoundly believe that this is an opportunity for one of Ubisoft's most beloved franchises to evolve in a more integrated and collaborative manner that's less centered on studios and more focused on talent and leadership, no matter where they are within Ubisoft. Um, I think I've been kind of vocal over the... um, I, I've been more vocal about like my thoughts on uh, Assassin's Creed as a franchise lately. I, I still kind of prefer the classic games. I think the open world RPG aspect just isn't in my lane whatsoever. Odyssey had a lot of loot vomit issues. Valhalla was better in that regard, but overall kind of didn't care about it. Uh, I know Mesa and who else was playing Valhalla? It was Mesa and who else? I Blaine? don't know. My it memory's bad. I still haven't played Valhalla yet, which is very bad because I actually very much want to when I haven't yet. I have a physical copy. You can borrow it, whatever. I have a PS5 copy. I got it for Christmas oh. last year. Oh. <laughs> I just haven't done I switched the cover out for female Ivor, and that's it. <laughs> that's That shit's on you then, homie. I don't know what you're telling me. I know, I'm bad. <laughs> You did the important thing, though. I did the important thing. That was all I did. It's just sat on my shelf since then, which is very bad. I I will say that... um, So so a lot of the initial response is that people heard live service and a lot of people jumped to the conclusion that it's going to be like a... um, it's going to be laden with like microtransactions. It's going to be like grinding for gear and, and whatever. Just, just kind of the stuff that kind of like naturally entails like as a service type games that it's going to be multiplayer. Um, Jason Schreier, reporter for Bloomberg, noted journalist in the industry, whatever and whatnot, uh, came to the same conclusion that I had basically done before. And it, and it was um, it, it's basically just what they're saying as it is. It's going to be like one launcher, like one platform that's just basically going to get game sized updates. So like, let's say yeah. it, it, it's, it's, just, it's basically going to be the same format, but they're going to launch within the same platform. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I don't do not believe that this is going to become like Assassin's Creed Fortnite. I truly believe that there's going to be a single player that they just haven't spoken about. Like I truly 100% believe that they're like, Oh, this like Assassin's Creed infinity thing is whatever they're calling this like multiplayer portion of it but i truly believe that there's still going to be like a single player aspect to it because if they instantly make assassin's creed just fortnite style they're gonna lose so many fucking people i like i i i actually agree with you I believe that this is going to be like a launcher kind of kind of like how like and this isn't exactly the same thing, but this is how I kind of see it going. How Rainbow Six Extraction is not taking over what Siege is. It's just going to be its own thing. And then Siege is kind of going to be there, too. I think that's what the the Assassin's Creed is going to try to do is there's we are going to get a single player. But I also think this Infinity is also going to be there. And that's what's going to be the thing that gets like game sized updates, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Am I making any sense? Because I I mean, 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 basically just look at what they did for Origins Odyssey. And I I guess they're doing it now with Valhalla, where they had like substantial post launch DLC expansions and just just extrapolate that idea to what if you you pop open odyssey whatever right and there's just an optional menu just like do you want to play odyssey or do you want to play valhalla and they just launch from like within that same launcher basically that's, that's how it's going to work and it, it feels weird that people are jumping to multiplayer and I, I can see them returning back to it but they haven't had multiplayer in the series since did they I, I guess they had something in unity there was like online co-op but before then it was like that weird um, um, whatever brotherhood was which was fucking awesome like let's they ha- just leave they it had here it, they had that a brotherhood cool. revelations three i don't believe it was in four i think it was just no, those three what, like the only like pvp multiplayer that assassin's creed has had was that 
badass assassin mode that was in those three games. Like, where, like, you are all your own assassin and you're hunting everybody else, but there's NPCs that also look like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Like, that was killer. It like, was I'm, cool. Like, these, yeah. these there's still nothing like it on the market. Like you could say, no. like, oh, it's kind of like Among Us, whatever. But just like it, it's it's very different. Where any you're you're constantly on the prowl for someone, but someone's, someone's also on the prowl, on the prowl for, you. for you. It's fucking great. Yeah, and it's and it's like because I t I truly don't believe that they're gonna make Assassin's Creed strictly a multiplayer game because the single player games are still selling game busters. They don't want to lose that fraction of their audience and say what you want about Ubisoft's games. They still make solid single player experiences like like Far, Far Cry, Watch Dogs Legion, all the newer uh, uh, Assassin's Creed games. Like them or not, there's a lot of people who love them. So like I don't like them making it purely multiplayer would kill it. That's why I truly believe what you said, which is, oh, there's going to be a launcher, you're going to have Infinity, and you're going to have whatever the single player is going to be. Mm -hmm. And will it tie in with the multiplayer? Like, uh, how does GTA 5 single player tie in with the multiplayer? I don't know, and I don't care. So can you answer that? <laughs> there's some uh, characters, but I don't believe so. Yeah. yeah no, like, GTA Online is basically like a create your own character, and like there are story missions that you see characters from the single player game, but it's, it's its own thing. Okay. But like, does some actions in the single player game, is that no. brought up in the multiplayer? Oh, you know, my, it, it take it takes place after the single player story and like, well, okay. Okay. Cause it's like, that's what I see infinity kind of being is like a sister product to whatever the single player is. Especially if it's going through different timelines. Like, maybe they web it in and make it some kind of Abstergo thing. Like, oh, you're testing this new video game that we're making and we're going to change the time period every couple of months. Which, to be completely honest, that sounds cool. <laughs> like, like, if that's how they do it, where you go from, like, ancient China, like, back to ancient Egypt or back to the... 18 1900s like when syndicate took 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 place in like if they do that that sounds actually kind of cool but am i, I interested in this now no because they have announced no single player so i do not care <laughs> I, I it will most definitely be single player um i i will be careful in how i state this and that i'm going to preface it with um out of all the big kind of like triple a publisher companies whether it's ea activision um in, in terms of like the games they output, not the culture and stuff that's going on within the company, um, Ubisoft is typically one of my favorites in terms of just just their like their raw outputs, uh, the quality of the games. It, 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 I, I have not seen even as much as I may have some criticisms of some of their open world games, particularly the latest uh, Assassin's Creed games. Uh, they don't put out bad games like they are. They are very high quality uh, uh, like never bare minimum soft game it may have not been my thing but i've never hated it and i can't really say that for a lot of other companies mm -hmm. like i you? yeah what, what about you up many general assassin's creed thoughts like, or ubisoft I as feel, a whole um i feel like this platform could be really cool depending on how it actually like turns out like i, I think i read somewhere that like part of the reason they're doing this is it might also allow them to do smaller single player experiences and like have games or like smaller entries that maybe harken back to the older Assassin's Creed while they're also keeping the RPG big game sort of thing. And like this sort of like overarching platform, they could do really cool stuff with it. Like what if there is like a, a persisting sort of like assassins versus templars thing where you can like log into other people's games like dark souls or something and like be fighting or hunting down people or whatever or you know and like that the launcher where you can like switch between timelines and like play this new update for a story and then switch to valhalla and go like beat up some vikings and then go to odyssey or whatever so I think there's a lot of potential for this, but it also just amuses me because everyone, like, everyone who has played Valhalla, from my perspective, 
has just been like, that was too much Assassin's Creed. Like there was just a little bit too much of it. It, it had got too big. And the next thing that Ubisoft announces is Infinity as a subtitle. <laughs> and it's just like, you are taking the wrong message from the, what people are saying about this. Like you're scared to scare people. Like, yeah, I want to play <laughs> Assassin's Creed all day, every day, and it never stops. No, no, that's not what people want. To, to uh, jump in real quick, because you brought up something that I, it just totally did not even occur to me, is that with this platform, uh, I think you're right, they're incentivized to take, maybe not risk, but they can put out smaller, like maybe more linear slices of content, which would totally be up my alley, where they don't need to market just like, here's a hundred plus hour game that we need to put, because like, that's what the masses want, they don't... <sighs> I, I, I don't like the hour to value ratio. I, I, I think it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, Me too. But if, if we can get like even just smaller, better experiences, I'm totally down for it. But um, I mean, anyway. I when Assassin's Creed was like syndicate size. Yep. Because it was like a more intimate story. Because I will forever say that Jacob and Evie are two of my favorite Assassin's Creed characters ever. Because, like, we were able to be in this world that characterized them, and we watched them grow as people, not just as, like, assassins, but that's because the game wasn't that big. Yeah, like, Jacob and Evie are so much fun. I don't and have Jacob, but... I, I know I have a Jacob somewhere. But, like, that's that's what made the game so much fun and so much more personable, because while it was big, I'd, I'd argue it's the same size as Watch Dogs Legion, and Legion was pretty big. Like, because even though WoW was a big open world, it wasn't like Valhalla size. It wasn't like Origin size. It wasn't like Odyssey size. It was a good size that allowed you to do a bunch of side stuff, but do the story stuff, and it gave the game enough room to humanize and character like characterize its main characters and make them people and make you really care about them that's why like i like atma's idea for infinity a lot better because having like different time periods that we can jump back to and have different single player experiences in them i'd be okay with that just don't make them like like here's this game update we made the size of like far cry 3 it's like no (laughs) like it's too big (laughs) i I, i'm I'm not gonna do spoilers because i know you're looking forward to valhalla I, um, I, I really liked Odyssey, or I'll put it like this. I want to play an Assassin's Creed game at the very least. I, one, give a shit about the character you're playing as. Two, they have, like, some amount of charm to them, whether they're, like, morally gray or they're doing the good thing, whatever. Because, you know, people love, uh, what's the character's name from 4? Edward Kenningway? Kenway? I believe. Yeah, Kenway, Ed- I think. Ed- Edward was the best yeah like like he, he's he's kind of a piece of crap it's a pirate but he's charming he has a good strong personality um you know who doesn't have a strong personality or i give a shit about e- uh ivor and a valhawk is like you are a oh, viking yeah. you by definition needed. are kind of a piece of shit and but it's weird because like i'm not going to go spoilers uh there's some assassins brotherhood stuff that goes on in that game and they're kind of cool with you just being a fucking viking asshole and i'm just like i just don't care about playing an asshole i need i need to be able to like be like you are on like some kind of moral ground at this point it feels like i'm playing fucking hatred that shitty uh as, game where you're going around shooting us and people i'm just like eh, as I far like as this. i remember in syndicate who was that assassin's name the one that evie hooked up with at the end something His green Gapes, yeah, something green. Like he I, hated the fact that Jacob and Evie were like the leader of a street game. He's like, he's like, y'all are assassins, and Jacob's like, but this is my family. Like, I these are all my children. Like, these are all these are all my burbs. Like, the the whole point of that game was them needing to grow up and become actual uh, assassins, even though they do that while leading a street game. So it's like. I, 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 I agree with you. I like when the assassins are like, yo, you gotta be an assassin, just like they were to Edward the entirety of four. Like, listen, you're a pirate, that's cool, but you gotta be an assassin. I mean, but, like, I'm also thinking that Assassin's Creed, and this sounds dumb, and, like, bear with me, like Kingdom Hearts is moving away from the main thing of, like, the assassin's order and trying to be its own thing, which is cool. And I think Origins did that very well with, like, telling the beginning of the assassin's order. But, like, 
like Kingdom Hearts losing Sora, you can't lose that mosquito forever. Like, <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> be I, there. Like, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. There, there's some shit that goes down in Valhalla. Like, like, okay, here's what I'm gonna say. They lost the thread on the overarching story as soon as three ended, and they should have immediately given up any and all, pr- um, given up any and all pretense. Uh, of like the overarching abstergo story they should have just made it like in your universe just like hey here's a vignette you're just happen to be a pirate there's no abstergo shit going on because man that shit is really un- uninteresting but there's some shit that goes on and it's yeah anyway i'm sorry i i, I didn't mean to cut you off but did you want to uh, I, well, I just want to say that like i played the shit out of odyssey um because I love Greek mythology and like ancient Greece and that sort of thing. So the setting was my jam, but I could not tell you shit about the Assassin's Creed plot or what that, whatever the hell was going on in the modern day. Like all that was just like, okay, whatever. Can I go back to the, you know, stabbing people in the back in ancient Greece now? Um, and yeah, like, the, the the modern day plot is sort of weird, but again, Infinity could do neat stuff with that because, like, I know the whole grabbing of Assassin's Creed is like you get to play in different timelines and whatever, but I know there is at least some part of the Assassin's Creed fan base that has been asking for, like, a modern day Assassin's Creed where you get to do the cool Assassin stuff. And not like this weird sort of like telling a random story. Like I remember back in like the when the original like Assassin's Two trilogy, I guess, came out. Like everyone was like hyping up, wanting to do more assassin shit as Desmond. I love uh, that you called it that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the two trilogy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, and and so like that they could bring that sort of stuff in too. Um, Mm -hmm. that would be interesting you feel like they lost track of the modern timeline when they killed desmond i feel like they became the fish from finding nemo where it's like all right we did it what do we do now and i think what they did in assassin's creed 4 really made that interesting how you were like an abstergo employee learning about all this stuff because that was probably my because i I loved 4 in general but that was my favorite part of 4 was it was in first person you were playing as an abstergo employee as the game went on you began to realize that abstergo was this evil company they were the templars you start to get contacted by the assassin's order in it and you began to like sneak around the abstergo offices and learn shit like that was my favorite part of four which is being like all right desmond's dead what do we do now oh, let's just make you an abstergo employee and figure out oh shit this company's not who they say that they are this this I'm, is a really I'm, random question just real quick it where where can you play for now because i actually never played it and so I it's keep... out on the switch i think it's last gen switch and pc actually yeah. no technically you can also play it on 360 and ps3 and whatnot <laughs> yeah, if, yeah if you want to hate yourself you can do that too but <laughs> But like I yeah, once they killed Desmond, I felt like they're like, what do we do? I'm, I'm gonna throw you a bone, Sarah. What? Um, you should play Valhalla. Don't do that to me, because I love that boy. <laughs> Desmond was so I loved him as a kid. Desmond did nothing wrong. I, Isn't that the one that brings up COVID? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. Actually. It, it's not actually that I bad. Know, like, the, the cause of COVID was Desmond dying or something? No, 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 it's not, no. <laughs> Okay, then maybe I read that wrong somewhere. Because I saw it. <laughs> yeah, but you, if, if you oh, care... Oh, I, I saw the meme that Desmond caused COVID. I think the, If, the, if I, you the, care the, about early Assassin's Creed story and overarching stuff, you should play Valhalla, and that's the last I'll say of it. Wait, does his character named Daniel Cross get mentioned at all like you can spoil it for me i don't I, care i don't recall that because like daniel was the descendant of the really badass like russian assassin like he had this big beard and he was I, in this like i don't assassin. recall and i like daniel a lot and the games only brought him up like twice because he because he was like a comic book character and this was back <laughs> when it was cool to like connect comic books and v- video games 
Okay. Okay. Now, now you have me more interested. Kind of sad that the game doesn't fully say that Desmond caused COVID, but... <laughs> Do you want him to? <laughs> no, but just remember when the game came out and that meme was spreading around Twitter where it's like, oh, Desmond Miles caused COVID. And I went, huh? <laughs> like, he's been dead. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Leave him alone. He's done nothing <laughs> wrong. He died for nothing. Uh, I swear uh, the apocalypse was still gonna happen. I don't know. Assassin's Creed was wonky, dude. Like, the fucking, like, modern day stuff? That was some shit. Like, you know, that oh, was, oh like, you know, I totally forgot. I was what? hoping for the longest time that you would get to the end of Watch Dogs, and it would just turn out to actually be a secret Assassin's Creed game. Well, hold on, because in Assassin's Creed 4, if you hack into one of your, like, co-workers' computers, you'd find out that abstergo's um security service is the fucking ctos mm -hmm. even so in like, uh watchdogs you can see their their stuff also you can see yeah. like ubisoft employees and shit yeah that's in watchdogs I'm legion sorry, then in watchdogs 2 there was a mission where you were sent to like assassinate someone and when you go to kill them and you read and you like scan their phone it says that they're a director at abstergo so like it flat out like and then there's also a theory that Aiden might be related to an assassin. Like, it's just crazy. Like, one of my favorite things is the, like, Ubisoft connected universe thing. I, I just would have loved if, like, legit it's at the end part. of the game, you're just minding your business. And some dude just pulls up in a cloak just saying, like, join the Brotherhood or something. <laughs> so, just some stupid well, shit. Again, like, like it, was, it, it was just, like, straight forever. up. Well, no, there's there's a fan theory that Aiden's a descendant of... I've had enough Lord theories Volpe? today. From uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood, Volpe's, that like I, that goes by the fox. Like, there's like this. I know exactly theory. what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's that. There's like an actual like the in-game hints that Aiden might be that dude's descendant. So like, there's this like crazy like. <laughs> I don't know, man. I love the like Ubisoft connected universe thing. It's so no dumb. more theories so cool. today. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Um, now I just want to replay Syndicate, but I have so many other things I need to play, but Syndicate's so good. I think that's gonna about do it for the show. I know Corey I know Corey would personally murder me if I didn't save some dead space action for him. Um for me too. I do partake in the dead space. <laughs> <laughs> um any last thoughts or tidbits or miscellaneous good food opinions, bad food opinions? My chicken tasted very bad, and I'm very sad. Why did it taste bad? It was too chewy. <laughs> like, it wasn't cooked enough? or No, like, it just was, like, chewy. Like, I could barely bite into it, and I was very sad. Like, rubber? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. I overcooked... <laughs> I overcooked the my chicken kebabs chicken. last night. I still thought it was fine. Desert so, County having a great point. My Kingdom Hearts lore show and a show about the Ubisoft connected universe, which I mean, I could do both. They're going to be that. Like, it's going to be that meme where the person has like the bunch of post it notes the, and connected like, dots. Like, and always, shit. The, like, always sunny meme. <laughs> it, oh, is that where it's from? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we're gonna do like, degrees of separation with Ubisoft and Kingdom Hearts, and we're gonna connect everything. Together. No, now you just imagine. Now you just made me imagine Aiden being a party member, whatever the fuck Kingdom Hearts game is, and he just <laughs> kneecaps people. And Riku's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, all Sora is really doing is Keyblade's not a blade. He's bonking people with like a giant steel bat over their head. Literally destroying bodies to free people's hearts. And when you think about it, that's some like hardcore Disney shit. That, that's some fucking Mortal Kombat shit. You're, you're beating the crap out of someone until their heart pops out. It's it's pretty Don't brutal. Don't forget that in Kingdom Hearts 3, Hans turns in, he like morphs into a giant wolf and you literally murder him. Like they show his him laying like lifeless dead on the ground. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like we want to realize how dark Kingdom Hearts is. Sora is a stone cold murderer. Uh, he, just, he just murders people and is like, I'm doing it for Kingdom Hearts. Atma, how how was your food experience? Friendship. How was your food experience? Uh my food was fine. It was leftover pizza and delicious. What, what kind of pizza? Um 
I don't actually know. It was it was part of what? my girlfriend's uh, lunch. It was like what uh, toppings? White sauce, white sauce, chicken, red peppers, and what? basil. That sounds fucking I, I, I find that acceptable. See, I, I'm the asshole that, like, I'll go to... I don't know if you have it where are you, where you are. Uh, we have, like, Pyology. We have, uh, what's the other one? Mod Pizza. Where you can just yeah. put as many toppings as you want. And it's just all for the same price. So I just get all the meat. I get, like, fucking corn. I get ranch all over it. It's fucking great. I can't eat red sauce pizza. So, like, white sauce pizza is the bomb. Like, that's, like, that one thing I'll have, like, once a month. That I would devour the whole thing. So that sounds amazing. Damn, I want pizza now. Pizza and chicken. Yeah. Some kind of chicken pizza. I have if my you will. chicken. It was it was depressing. I'll I'll door dash it to myself. Do it. I'll I'll send my co- oh, no. you know what? You don't need Assassin's Creed. You have Assassin's Creed, Sarah. You're you have the holler. It's just sitting on my shelf, I say as I play seven more rounds of Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Please help. I cannot stop. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I need help. Uh, with that, um, that has been the show. I'm. Thank you very much, Sarah, for being on. Thank you very much, Atma, for mm-hmm. joining the family. This this fast family was very Fair furious God, moments. It makes you have more to stick this in here at the end. We almost made it. We almost oh, made it. You know what? We, we, we haven't had a podcast since the freaking... Fast, you'll drive to your house jokes. with my monitor to beat you over the head like, with it. Like, like honestly, so much of the comedy f- from it has just been the sheer fucking number of shit that came out like in like in a twenty four hour period. And, and, like, <laughs> and like, like usually, what I do, I schedule like ninety nine percent of my tweets, so I just completely forget about them by the time they come out. But I'm just Wait. like, oh no, I can't, I can't schedule this shit. I need to like. I need to just put it all out as fast as I can because that window it, it's going to be dropping. You can schedule tweets so like I can set yeah. for like 3 a.m. just to say like I, yeah Mr. Vanquish Man is a is a snack. It, in the um, for full disclosure let me take a look. I have tweets scheduled all the way out until uh, July 25th at 2.43 p.m. Good lord. I, so I can just do horny posting at like 3 a.m., but I, I'm not awake actually doing it? I don't think people understand. I, I have been a meme lord for many years on Facebook, for like 10 plus years. I have just now transitioned to doing the same thing on Twitter. You have, you no, have no. export meme lordship. You don't get it. I can horny post at 3 a.m. when I'm actually not awake. Yeah. You can. I've unlocked so much power. <laughs> uh, so much you can't power. wait. Do you have an iPhone or Android? I have an iPhone. Oh, that what sucks. do you take me for? That sucks, bro. Monster? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the um, fuck do you take me for? I-, I don't know about the iPhone version, but you can't schedule tweets on the app of the Android version, so you have to use the mobile app. No, no, I'm, I don't, I'm sorry, not the mobile app. You have to use it within your You're web living browser. In the Stone Age, my friend. You're using browser. You can't schedule tweets in, in the app. Uh, at least for Android. In Stone Age, brah. You have an iPhone. I don't need to listen to what you got to say. I got ran over by a bus. <laughs> Leave me alone. What? <laughs> it's a, it happened with a long story. I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, Kenny's right. A horny posting is not limited by time. It's not limited by time and space. And people wonder why my harem is so big. Because I can have as many boys as I want. Or excuse me, men. Someone's been playing too much Fire Emblem. That's a that's a Freudian slip. No, right I there. downloaded a new dating sim. I haven't oh, played no. it yet though, but I got it for like twelve ninety five on the eShop sale. <laughs> and he, Kenny says it's new. <laughs> Kenny says it's bigger on the inside. God, oh, yeah. God damn it, Kenny. <laughs> uh, with that, that is the show. Thank you everyone for hanging out. It's been a Fun time. Very glad to have Atma join the uh, family. Um, <laughs> thank glad you to, to here. thank you to my patrons who I'm scrolling back up to the list so I can see it. To super patrons Ramen and Bo, and I'm sorry, super duper patrons Ramen and Bo, and uh, the super patrons uh, Force Big Boss and Sly. Game session podcast is filmed here live now on either Sundays or Mondays at 5 p.m. PST. Follow the Twitter to see the exact streaming schedule for any given week. Um, it's filmed here live on Twitch, quite a later on podcast services, and on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments. 
Uh, with that, um, anything... What the fuck is my cat doing? He is a... Here, one second. One second. That's the way to end the podcast. What the fuck I is mean, I guess. Doing? Here. <laughs> I'm showing the camera. There is a cat. Get out of my hamper. Your hamper's <laughs> a box? It's... No, it's... Oh, it looks like a box. I, I mean, I wasn't going to judge you. I just was curious. You having, you having fun there, Bandit? You being bad boy? <laughs> Where is his little, like, car battery, though? Car battery? Yeah. Oh, haha, ha, you're talking you're Siege. I, 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 I understand the reference. Like he sold drugs. And he Shit. used to be like, I've sold drugs, you know, as he's like, <laughs> um, here, electrifying I'll, the wall. <laughs> I'll go ahead and go first if anyone wants to advertise plug anything um i am chugging away at my doom eternal essay it is currently sitting at like 35 minutes i still have to write a little bit more because i never wrote the script for the ancient gods part two because when i wrote the script that was not out yet so still gathering b-roll still pushing things out very happy with how the trailer came out um i have not video edited something like that in about a year i'm gonna be i like to espouse the virtue of of uh humbleness and whatever that's generally the people i like but i'm gonna be a cocky little shit and say i'm a very good video editor and i excelled in it in school so fuck it i'm gonna I'm swing my big dick rick energy for a quick second i like video editing and i'm good at it uh um, you want to plug anything uh yeah i mean i I'll, I'll plug my my other podcast um it's, it's currently on a little bit of a hiatus because we've recorded a bunch of episodes but i haven't had the chance to edit them yet um but my make me a gamer is the, the podcast i hope host with me and my friend who uh he doesn't play games as much and has very interesting opinions about things and uh it's fun to talk to him every week about it and our 100th episode just went up a few weeks ago uh and that is currently the latest episode so if you want to start on our 100th episode celebration it's there and there'll be new episodes probably i'd guess starting in august yeah. I don't think I've listened to that one yet just because I've been on an audiobook binge, but I am most definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> Sarah, you want to plug anything? I'm waiting to get the go ahead to work on the uh, Suicide Squad piece I got asked to do for the site that I freelance for. Um, I'm going to try to start streaming whenever uh, n- Night Dive and Steven Kick want to release the System Shock one remake because i do want to start streaming a bit more and god damn it people need to play that game so i will be streaming that when it comes out and the system shock 2 remaster as well because those are two of my favorite games of all time so uh uh oh god i don't know i i, I just got back from like a four day long weekend i i haven't done anything <laughs> oh god i'm just gonna i'm just gonna mute myself all right, bye. <laughs> yep, thanks everyone for hanging out. We will see you next time. And, um. Are you seriously in the fucking hamper? Fucking cat, you. Uh. Da 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 da. All right, that's the show. Bye bye.